Not playing. The seventh hole. Gary Bergen still in third place. Paul Verrill, two shots clear of the field. He drops right down in front, he's not happy. Even Harry skims the tree. Oh, shocking. And now reaches down for the apple and yes, picks it up in one. A single bite. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Now joint leader, P. Verall. Buoyant after his Ashes victory, England over Australia. Straight at the pin, dropping down. Oh, he's oh, only. Oh, yes. he's no. What was that? Twenty meters shot off the tee. Square. The back nine. Wow. Sunday afternoon. He hooks one. He hooks one. It's going to go out into the tree line. That is way too much hook there. Now we've got Paul Verrill. Down the 10th hole. All square with that Glen Packpot. He hits a drive and he hits it down the middle with a slight cut, but that's safe. Short, short, but safe. Mr. Walkabout, Mr. Walkoff on the 13th, Gary Bergen. Really doesn't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> no point in me being here. He's just a spectator like Harry Good. Oh, creams one down the tree line on the right hand side. That'll be in the tree line. Paul Verrill, second shot to the ninth. About 110 yards. Hits one. It's going to be short and left. We have Paul Verrill from 21 feet, 2 inches. Going for a birdie. Comes up towards the hole and it just dribbles past. Good try. Alright, we have Glenn Papworth now. A putt of 12 feet, 1 inch. For par. Putt for par after a very poor chip. He hicks it out to the right. Now we've got the leader, one ahead, Paul Verrill. Driving on the 11th hole. Max one down the left hand side and he's not on the fairways. Don't know where he is. But well, can we have that again? I missed that. Okay, Glenn Papworth. One behind. Drive down the 11th. Smacks one down the other fairway. Whoa! Whoa! That's going to be almost pin high but wrong fairway. <laughs> 